The following tutorial will show you how to create that QR code and link it to an image that you've taken. Okay, so here are a set of cards that have each student's smile plus a QR code that links to an audio file. So if we use our iPad and we go to a scanning app and we scan somebody's code, we can listen to their story. When I was at recess, I was wiggling my tooth with a paper towel and Taylor said to twist it and I did and then I pulled it out. On the left side of the screen you can see a Google Doc. It has three columns. The left column has the pictures of the different students' smiles. The second column is a place to put the QR code and the third column lets me know which student it is. On the right side I have the application Vocaroo opened and when a student comes over to my desk I'll press the record or the retry button to start that person's recording. So here comes over somebody right now. Let's hear her story. So we'll press record and I'll ask her, how did you lose your tooth? When I was on the couch with my brother doing my homework, I twisted my tooth and then it cracked and then it was getting regular and then when my mom came back from her school, um, I pulled it. And so now hers is done, we can listen to it and we can save it. We'll save it, we can put it to any of the different popular social media channels, we can get a link, we can embed it. What we're interested in is getting the QR code. So when you press the Save to QR code, it opens another window. On my Mac I'll use Command-Shift-4 to take a screenshot. I'm going to put my screenshot onto my desktop and then I'll drag it over here to the corresponding person's smile. I'm going to go back to the Vocaru page and close that window. I'll throw away that screencast and put it in the trash. The kids like to hear theirs again so we can replay it and get ready to do the same process again. So here we go. We're going to do retry. Here comes our next student. When I was having dinner, I was getting on my chair to tell my mom something, um, and, my, and I had a really wiggly tooth. I was wiggling it. Um, my sister was in my mom's chair, and when I was about to say something to my mom, she poked it out. Okay, so we're going to do the same process. We'll save it. Go right down to the Get QR Code. The next window opens, command shift 4, make a screencast, drop it on your desktop, drag it into the next person's spot, and I always just like to throw away the ones that I've already done so I don't get mixed up because they sure look a lot alike. You can always listen to it again, have the kid hear theirs while you call over the next student. So that's pretty much the process, and I find Vocaroo to be an easy application to scan so that when the student scans the information with the scanner app on the iPad then they can right away go to a triangle that shows play and can right away listen to the recording of the person telling their story. Some other applications that work well with QR codes for little learners is Emotions, for example, how are you feeling today? So we've been talking about emotions and each student told me an emotion, for example, hurt, and then she told a story about what it's like to be hurt, and then you could listen to that story that goes with that person. This person showed us a time that he was impatient, so we could click on to here, read this, scan it, and listen to his story as well. This is a way to let little students have access and to also be creative, and they really, really like to hear their voices.